Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4, and welcome to my channel. Alright y'all, it's Sunday, so I hope that you have had a great weekend. You're kind of getting ready for the whole new week, but we have a Dollar Tree haul because Friday, my husband and I were stuck in traffic for over three hours. The traffic Friday was insanity, like both directions, so I didn't get to do my Dollar Tree haul Friday. So we're gonna do it today. All right, so today's haul is full of just a bunch of everything, brand new finds and stuff they brought back from last year, which I did not buy last year, so I finally got it this time. But all right, everything is in bags. I just grab stuff, I've got the bags right here. So I'm just gonna like reach into a random bag and see what we pull out. <laughs> so, um, normally I love to start my hauls with my most favorite thing, but I am not that organized today. So like I said, a random bag and we're just gonna have fun with this. All right. All right, this is the Makeup Vanishing Towel. Have you ever tried these? So normally it's like a bright pink. This is like the new print. This one right here is like a lavender with lemons. And then this is just a lavender. So let's open up the lemon one. So if you normally buy like the makeup remover, like the wipes, this right here, it's not big. Oh, and it's round. Look, it's round. It's got lemons on it. All you do to this, get this wet, wring it out, and you use this, it takes off your makeup. You don't need any other products. You don't need any like makeup remover. You get this wet, and you can use this over and over. It says machine wash code or washing by hand, rinse, and lay flat to dry. You don't need any other products with this right here. So I got this one. So I got me the one with the lemons on it. And then Presley, hers is just lavender. She loves these too. Hey, oh, I also found Lip Smacker. Lip Smacker is a big name brand. It's a chapstick, but the best thing is it has an SPF of 30. So going into spring and summer, like some sunblock for your lips, and it is super fruit. Look at the shape of it. I grabbed two of these. They kind of keep in the, like our, one in my purse and one like in the pool bag, beach bag. But look at the shape of it. <laughs> look at that. Um, oh, it smells good. Very like fruity. But yeah, that SPF 30 is great. Oh, and I also found, and I guess this is name brand. It's called Delta Home. It is, um, Kitchen Lemon Hand Soap. Look how pretty this bottle is. I'm telling you what, if you're doing like a gift basket for like your mom for Mother's Day or maybe like your sister or your friend, this right here, this really looks high end. Or if you want, because it's lemon, just pour this into any cute like soap dispenser you have. Like in the summertime in the kitchen, I have a little truck with like strawberries. So I'll just use this to pour into that one. But, I mean, like I said, it's lemon. I love that for the kitchen. And it is 16 full ounces. All right, oh, and everything in this haul is $1.25. All right, um, all right. I also grabbed, look at this little sign right here. I love that the arrows pointing in different directions. But what I love about it, you can take this apart and make you a cute little, um, little sign with it. So you got fruit stand with all the fruit. You have lemonade. So if you're making a little lemonade stand, this would be adorable. That one. But I loved it because of the strawberry picking. Look at that. I love these. You can make use of really cute little signs with this. And all it is, they're just stapled on there. So very easily, you can just pull that right off. What? All right. That's one bag. Hey, next. <laughs> oh my gosh, all right. All right, y'all, so this right here, I bought because of Jamie. Jamie loving all seasons, I love her. If you love positive like hauls and like tear tray decorating and just shop with me's, Jamie loving all seasons is one of my favorite to watch because I love her and her personality. But she got this and she was so excited about it. I had to get one too. It's a palm tree. <laughs> but like she pointed out, it has coconuts. Look, it has little, right in there. It's got a coconut there, um, right there. 
One, two, three. So this one right here has like four little coconuts on it, but that is so cute. So because of Jamie, I had to go and find this palm tree and I had to dig for this, but I thought it was so cute. And I would like to have one more because I think it'd be really cute, like on a shelf or tiered tray, like very like summer tropical looking. And it's the tinsel. <laughs> so Jamie, thank you. I had to go buy this. So that is so cute. Oh, they also had, and I don't know if this is new or not. I don't remember this. It's a little tinsel dog, but he's patriotic. <laughs> that is adorable. And I don't normally decorate with a lot of tinsel stuff, but this is so cute. Look at him. This is gonna be so cute on a tear tray or like if you're like decorating like a shelf or your windowsill in your kitchen. Just have this sitting. I love this little dog. And we're gonna do a bunch of like patriotic, um, crafts and decorating together. So this little dog is gonna show up. So cute. And they also had a white unicorn. It was like very patriotic, but I just wanted this little dog. Right there. All right, Oop. Okay, so, all right y'all, I found more of the um, Shore Living Orbs. Look, I didn't know there was a white one. So this is the solid white and it's got like the, the fish scales all over it. Look how pretty that is. If you're decorating like adobo or like a big glass vase or just to decorate like a console table, these are so high end looking. So I found the white one and then I also found another blue one. Look at this one. This one to me has like the starburst like all over it. That's, that's what it reminds me of because I found this one with the fish scales all over it. So I saw this was different. Beautiful. And I love the one that's good. Like, and I love the one that reminds me of like an octopus, which it's in my office. <laughs> it's kind of buried in my office right now, but I have one too that has like, it reminds you of like an octopus, like a squid all over it. And that one is gorgeous. But I love these. Right. They put all my breakables in like one bag. At least they wrapped this one up. All right. Oh, I found a beautiful blue starfish. Look at that. So I have found a white one, but this one is the blue and I love it because it's blue with a little like bumps all over it. It's kind of like a lighter bluish gray color. That is so pretty. Y'all, this right here in a bathroom to me, because I don't decorate our home with a nautical, kind of like um, coastal look, but I think in a bathroom, this is gonna be really pretty. So that, and it's ceramic. All right, there's another bag. <laughs> All right, next. Oh, okay, so I grabbed some syrup. <laughs> yes, syrup for your pancakes, your waffles. So this right here is gonna be for some of my bee decor. Now, if you follow Presley on her YouTube channel, and I'll link it down below for you, she's gonna use this to do like a really cute little DIY for me that's then gonna be in one of my videos. <laughs> Did that make sense? I bought this for Presley to use, but I'm gonna decorate when she's done. But two, it's also just pancake syrup. All right. Y'all, this bag right here is full of some brand new finds, to me at least. Like, I do not remember Dollar Tree doing this. They have, all right, I'm gonna pull it all out at once. They have these 14 inch hanging decorations in this beautiful blue. So you get one of these. I also found it in red, 14 inch. Um, they had, you get two 10 inches. This is red, blue, and silver. Look how pretty. And then this one, you get three and they're six inches. So I have a fun decorating idea of using all of these right here. Uh, let's open this up just to kind of see. I'll show you what it looks like. Oops. 
I'll just do one. But all it is, you open it up, and then look how pretty. You know? So you just open it up, it looks like that. But I have some decorating ideas for these right here. Actually, all of these. I want to decorate with these. Um, maybe above my hutch. I'm not really sure where this is going. Either the hutch or game room. Yeah. Look. I love these. <laughs> like I said, I don't remember Dollar Tree doing these before. So these are the six inches. You know what? Real quick. I'm gonna show you this too. Let's see this one. I'll just grab one. This is the 10 inch. So once again, all you do, you just open it up. Wow, I love that. <laughs> this to me is so patriotic. So 4th of July, like fireworks exploding. That's my thought. All right, I was so happy to find these. And I don't remember seeing a white or a silver, because if so, I would have grabbed it. So I just found red and blue. All right. Ooh, I grabbed, they're called cake toppers, but these are perfect for tear trays, cakes, cupcakes, just any decorating. You get 24 star picks. That is going to be so cute. Look. And they're on little toothpicks. See that? Now, I do think I had these last year because I'm pretty sure we did a patriotic um, ice cream cake. Riley and I have done two videos now featuring our ice cream cakes that we make homemade. So if you're interested in that, I'll link it down below for you. But these look so cute, just popped into anything you're making. Um, parties coming up, you know, Memorial Day, you know, coming up, you know, people do a lot of cookouts and pool parties. You can, this is really festive. You, you can add this to like a fruit tray or a vegetable tray. It doesn't have to just be like cakes and cupcakes. So I got little stars. And then these, these right here look to be upgraded to me. If I can get it out of here. Look at this one. Look how pretty. Pretty. I love that it's like the red white stripes with the blue stars. I love this. You have a little burlap bow and it's on like a burlap strip. Take this apart. Make your own sign and you could do like horizontal. Just pull this off here. Look. <laughs> Just pull that right off and do your own sign with, hold on. I'm trying to think. You're looking at it. How are you going to see this? I don't want to do it backwards and get yelled at, but like USA, however you're seeing this, we make it like a sign using these right here, you know? I don't know if that's backwards to you. <laughs> Y'all sometimes filming, like my mind has to think, okay, is it reverse? How are you seeing this? But yeah, make your own sign with these. That or two. If you have like a tier tray that has like three different tiers, you could have the U, S, A. Like each tier or each shelf you're decorating, like my hutch or something, do like a U, S, A. So I love that one. I also got this one. This one has a little red and white striped bow at the top. That bow is perfect. I love they did that. You could also pop this off and use this on another craft. But you got that beautiful blue glitter, U, the red and white striped for your S, and then the A is a red glitter. Once again, take this apart. Make your own little sign or something with it. You know, decorate, like I said, different shelves, different tier trays. I love that. All right, another bag down. All right, next bag is right here. <gasps> Y'all, okay, I grabbed a little wooden crate, just the basic little wooden crates that they always have. We are gonna do watermelon crafts next week. Actually, tomorrow, tomorrow is Monday, April, what is today, today's the 23rd. So Monday, April 24th, we are gonna do 
watermelon crafts together. I'm so excited because we have never done any watermelon projects together before. So tomorrow, this little crate right here is gonna become a watermelon book stack. So if you're gonna to wanna to do all that crafting with me and you have one of these, or if you're running to Dollar Tree, grab you one. So watermelon crafting coming up. So I got this. I also grabbed this really pretty pink and white gingham ribbon. Like that. They have this ribbon year round, but I've never really seen the pink and white before. So in my mind, this is how I'm gonna be crafting and stuff with watermelon. This pink and white gingham. Like I said, this is Dollar Tree. Okay. Oh, <laughs> speaking of watermelon, I found these cute little ice cream cups, little bows. Look at that, y'all, oh, I love it. I love this right here. One, put your kids ice cream in here, the little cereal in here, whatever you're eating in here or you can decorate with these. Look at that watermelon. Look how cute, and I love the bottom is a run, and you get eight of them. Now this is not part of um, the crafting we're gonna do tomorrow, but we may do something like in our next video with it. Because y'all, I have so many watermelon ideas, it's not all gonna fit in one video, because, <laughs> because I like to take my time when we're crafting together. I like to explain things to you. So there's gonna be like quite a few watermelon videos. What? Oh, I found this. Look how pretty, it says welcome. Look at that little green bike, but the basket has lemons. The lemons and like the greenery is coming out of the basket. Look at that. Look how cute. And it's a little charm. You could make you a beaded garland, a little tassel or something and add this to it. That. Or, or get some ribbon and make a cute little bow and hot glue it right there to cover up that and put this in a tear tray. I think that'd be adorable. <laughs> but just a little basket, I'm telling you, the reason I bought it was because of the lemons. Look at that. I love that. All right, oh. I found in the crafter square section, I grabbed four of these. Look. I love it. It's like a little wood palette. I love this right here. Look at the back of it. So I can picture this. We're gonna do some crafts with this right here. Um, paint it, stain it, add a little something to it. I, when I looked at it, so when I first saw this, like this, my mind went to a picnic table. So I kind of thought about maybe trying to figure out a way of using these to make a little picnic table. Like it would be so cute just to decorate with on a tear tray or a shelf. Um, if it's sturdy enough to put outside and like some little food on it and see if a squirrel will come up to it. <laughs> Have you ever seen those? People make picnic tables for squirrels. So I think that would be adorable if I could get it to work right. And I guess to be sturdy enough for a squirrel. But I love these. Oh, okay. I also grabbed these little cups. This one says party in the USA and it's got like fireworks exploding. You know what, I'm gonna open this up for you because it is too cute. All right, look at this little bow. Oh, I don't know if you can tell it, but it says party in the USA. It's got some stars and like a firework exploding. Y'all, we have made the cutest patriotic snow cones using these little cups right here. I will link that down below for you because, and I'll link that down below for you. And also I have a patriotic playlist. I have a bees and ladybug playlist. But this right here makes the cutest like patriotic snow cones. So the blue or the red says, God bless America. Can you tell that? Yeah, it says God bless America. I'm telling you, these right here. And you get six of each and they're nine full ounces. All right, that's another bag down. Oh, <laughs> right here. Oh, y'all, it's that time again. All the hair that I'm losing, my, the tub is now getting clogged. So it's like holding water as you're taking a shower. 
So I get the fun job of pulling out all that gross hair. So every time I have to unclog the drain, I buy one of these. And then when I'm done with it, I throw it away because it's gross. <laughs> if you've ever had to unclog the drain yourself, what comes out of there and the smell is disgusting. So when I'm done, I throw it away. And then every however many months I need to do it again, I just go and buy it. Because for $1.25, I'd rather just buy a new one. Yeah, but this does work really well. All right, next. Ooh, I grabbed this right here. It's um called Margaret Holmes Seasoned Green Lima Beans. Real Southern style. Oh, look. So I, growing up, the only way I would eat lima beans is if my mom covered it in melted cheese. <laughs> so I have not had lima beans since I was a kid. But I, but I figured since it's seasoned already for me, I would try to make it. So we're gonna see if my family likes this. So if you've ever tried these, let me know. <laughs> Are they good or do I need to cover it in cheese so I'll eat it? Ooh, another brand new Crafter Square find. They have cardstock. And you get five for a dollar twenty-five. Y'all, look at this. We're gonna open this up because I don't know what colors you get in here. It is a 12 by 12. This is great for crafting. If you do scrapbooking, um, I know people do junk journaling. I don't know if you could use it for that. But cardstock is like construction paper, but thicker, like good, sturdy, almost kind of like a poster board in a way. So you got red, blue, green. This one has white and yellow. So I guess good primary colors in this one right here. They also had this package which my lighting on, if you can tell, is pink. So let's see what's in this one. All right, this has the pink, kind of a, a sea foam green. Can you tell that? It's kind of like a bluish greenish color, almost gray. <laughs> Uh, this color is a really deep navy. Yeah, it's like a really dark navy. This is... Y'all... <laughs> you would think I don't know my colors. This is like whitish grayish. Like, it's almost like a dirty white. I don't know. And then this one is like a grayish purple. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's almost like a purplish gray. <laughs> Once again, you get five. They're, like I said, they're 12 by 12. It is just like cardstock. Normally, if I need cardstock, I have to go to Hobby Lobby. So now I can go to Dollar Tree and get some. All right, another bag. Let's see. This. <laughs> okay. I don't do a lot with stickers, but these were too cute not to get. Look at that. It's like happy food. They all have like the biggest smiley faces on them. Let me take it out of here. You get 12 stickers and they're like the 3D. So they're all like the puffy 3D, you know, where it's like an extra piece on the top. I can see, it's like a piece on top. Look, look at this happy little cheeseburger. The ice cream with a big old smell on its face. Little french fry, and he's winking. <laughs> he's winking. You got a hot dog kind of partying. The tomato's so excited. A little drink. I mean, how cute are these right here? Look at a little pair. Those are just so cute that I had to get them. All right, oh. All right, so I love these right here. It's not new. But they're just so cute. It's like the flamingo like stirs, like for a drink stir, your coffee in the mornings, decorate a cute little like summery tier tray. I love them. And their legs are so long. Look how long their legs are. These are so cute coming out of like a coffee mug. <laughs> and you get four of them. 
And it comes in this dark, like flamingo pink. They also have like a lighter pink. They have a green cactus. I love the flamingos. Ooh, okay, also in this bag, they had some beautiful new like hair breadths, like hair accessories. Look at this one. It's like a gold background with the pearls and it's a clip. It's like an alligator. Oh, it's taped on here. Hang on, let me get this off here. Look, it's like an alligator clip. So, ignore my gray. <laughs> but look, look how pretty that is. So, I know like prom season maybe is still going on, but you got proms, you have spring and summer weddings coming up. If you're in Kentucky, Kentucky Derby's coming up. Um, like if you're going to like any like fancy parties or something, date night, how cute. Just put that in your hair. I love it. So I got this one, this one you get two. And it's the same thing. It's that little like alligator clip. See how pretty that is? I mean, once again, just <laughs> clip it up in your hair, but you'll make it look cute. <laughs> Don't do what I just did. But how cute is that? And you get two for $1.25. And then this one I thought was really fancy. Look at that. And this one is more of a, like a clip. Let's see, get that off here. Oh yeah, see, this one's almost like a hair bread because it goes in there and it snaps. But look how pretty that is right there. If you have any big like fancy events coming up, like I said, a, a, a bridal shower, you know someone getting married, um, like it's a date night, or you just wanna look cute running out to the store, you know, <laughs> just a little clip like this is so pretty. Okay, so I do not remember these. I don't know if these are new or not, but they had little umbrellas. <laughs> the little like paper umbrellas for your drink. Are these new? I don't know. I don't remember these, but you get 16 of them. So that's what it looks like. Let's open one. Like I feel like, you know, when you go out like to, like I feel like when you used to like go out to like the clubs or something and you get like a little drink. How do you open this? All right, so it's like a little, a little paper. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh look how cute! <laughs> it is a little umbrella. That is adorable, y'all. If you're gonna make you some little like summer drinks or something, pop this down in there. How cute! Like the coconut that I found, and I was like talking about like a pina colada. That would be so cute if you're having like girls over, like your friends, you're just hanging out in the backyard. Pop those down in there. Decorate a tear tray. Decorate with these. I love it. These also, if you have any summer parties coming up, kids' birthday parties, these are just cute little things to decorate with. Ooh, <laughs> this should have been put with the other bag, but you get 12 tinsel food picks. Look at that. All right, I'm curious what this looks like. Like I said, you get 12 of them. All right, that, pull this little plastic off. Oh, look, look at that. Oh my gosh. All right, fluff it out. Y'all, look how cute this is. Okay, Riley and I, every year, like I said, we make our ice cream cake to take to our family 4th of July party. This is gonna be on that cake this year. Look at that. This too will be so cute in like your coffee bar area. Vegetable trays, fruit trays, it can be on anything. Once again, it does not have to be like a sweet dessert. But look at that. And crafting. This will probably end up in a craft somewhere. Like I said, you get 12 of these. I love it so much. If I can find another package, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get it. Alright, so. Then, pull this out of here. This is brand new and I'm excited for this. Look, look at that. I love it. It is, it says sweet summer 
which is like an extra piece, you know, glued on there. Look at the ice cream. Look at the sundae. I love this so much. Now, I kind of wish it was already painted and done for me because I am not the best at painting. But how cute is this going to be? I can see like a really cute ice cream bar, like us making something together using this. I love it. <laughs> I probably would have loved it even more if it was already like painted and done for me, but I think we can do something really cute with this. So that, and it's probably about 12 inches long. I also, oh, <laughs> some gum. My anxiety when I'm out somewhere, I have to chew gum. So I always grab gum. These are brand new. They're called drink markers. Look at that. And you get how many? It does not say one, two, three, four, five, six. But they're little like fruit slices. Let me open this up. Because I'm curious what it is. Oh, it's kind of like a thick rubber. Oh, it's a strawberry. Look. So like when you're having people over, like normally if we do like the plastic cups, we leave out a Sharpie. Everybody just writes their names on their cup. But this way, like for me, I would grab the strawberry and this would be on my cup. So everybody knows that that's Jennifer's cup or it's not theirs, so don't touch it. Cause have you ever been at a party and you pick up a cup and take a drink and you realize it's not your cup <laughs> and you don't know whose cup it is? Granted you're all family, but I still don't want to drink after everybody. <laughs> so, <laughs> I will know strawberry is mine. So, strawberry, there's an orange slice. Um, like I said, it's like a thick rubber. What else do we have? Oh, look at this. There's a little lamb. That. Um, I think this is a star fruit. And you'll see that this right here is how it slides over like the lip of your cup. So star fruit, um, I guess it could be pineapple. Yeah, I think it's like a pineapple slice. And then they have a watermelon. See how cute that is? <laughs> so I thought these were great. And I would say grab like two or three packages, but then again, you're gonna have like three limes. So once again, who's is who? The little flags. I thought I had these. So just like the little stars, they have flags too. Once again, decorate with this, craft with this, um, you know, put on food trays, cupcakes, any of that stuff. Look. I love it. Like I said, it's a toothpick. All right, that's it for that bag. Uh, oh, <laughs> I thought we were done. All right, look, y'all. Okay, Dollar Tree has had these two years, maybe. They're huge. <laughs> I mean, it's, look, they're bigger than my head, seriously. But I've never bought these before. I've always seen them, and I kind of wait, and then they sell out. But I got them this year. I love it. And it's a cup, y'all. I mean, this is a lot. I would put water in here if so and get like my water for the day. But look how cute it is. So. Right, does it snap on? Oh, it kind of like snaps and twists. So they have it in the pink with the pink straw. And they also have it white with the white straw. But look at this. You could do this little sign and decorate with these cups. How cute would that be? And you could like paint this up. You could completely change the paint color. Like I said, if you have a hutch or some shelves or the top of your kitchen cabinets, have these up there in this little sign painted. That would be so cute for like a little summer ice cream bar. And it'd be a cute little party too. But all right, that is it. Uh, so next week, tomorrow being Monday the 24th, we are gonna have our watermelon crafts. Kind of a kickoff to like summer and patriotic, like crafting and decorating. 
I am ready for it. I love it all. If you happen to run a Dollar Tree, a little crate for a watermelon book stack, and then this little pink ribbon or black and white, whatever ribbon you want. But like tomorrow, like when we're doing our crafting, I know I'm gonna be making some little bows. But like all the ribbon I'm gonna be using is Dollar Tree. But all right, that's it. I hope that you have a wonderful day, a wonderful blessed week, and I will see y'all with some watermelon crafts. <laughs> but all right, bye guys. Thanks for watching.